Hey guys, what's going on? Josiah here. I am so excited to share this video. This is probably my favorite video that I've ever done. Um, and I'm just going to get into it. So guys, we're going to make a small change to this channel, but it's going to be a huge change. Uh, so let's, uh, so yeah, here's what's happening. Um, I have totally been led to really put Christ first in this channel. Um, you guys, there are so many biblical principles that the world needs to know when it comes to business that when I'm making these videos, I literally cannot share the biblical principles that are in business. Things like forgiveness, things like treating your customers right, honoring them, things like, you know, no master is greater than the slave and no slave is greater than the master, right? All these kinds of things, being humble. Um, you guys, these are all the things that you need to be leaders. These are all things that you need to be successful business owners and everything else. And so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to A, announce the future of the channel, where it's going, the direction it's going, why it's going this way. And then I'm also going to end up sharing my testimony because um, I've had an incredible experience. July 27, 2023 was the best day of my life. <laughs> and I, I want to share that story with you because this channel is a direct result of what happened on that day, okay? So all that being said, let's jump into it. This channel is now my personal YouTube channel. It always was, but this is my personal YouTube channel. It's Josiah Ryan. Um, you're gonna see at the end of it, it says in parentheses, the Christian Business Podcast. Okay, that's a whole other thing. I'm gonna finish up this video, um, where the inspiration came from that, why it came. Um, but that's what you're gonna see right off the bat. It's still gonna be all sorts of trainings about how to run your businesses, all sorts of techniques, um, all that kind of stuff. You know, it's very business forward, but it's also very Christ forward because the two literally, in, you can't have one without the two. If you're running a successful business, you know why guys? Because the same way that God is love is the same way that you need to bring love into your business. And if we're talking about love, ultimately it goes to the guy upstairs, period. God is love, period. <laughs> I can't not, I can't, you cannot separate the two. And so, um, so here's what's going on. So this channel, it is going to be, you know, this is the tactical channel. This is where you guys are going to get all the tactics, all that kind of stuff. Um, there is a separate currently being worked on very, very exciting project. I'll share the inspiration for that. I was also starting a podcast separate from this YouTube channel. Um, the reason why is YouTube, especially with the stuff I want to do, all the tactical stuff, that's training videos, that's little YouTube videos, that's you know, 10, 15 minute short content um, kind of stuff that you guys can actually take and implement in your business, uh, in your businesses. But the, the podcast is a much bigger picture uh, that I'm absolutely being called to. And uh, that's the Christian Business Podcast. We're gonna be interviewing many, many Christian business leaders. We're going to be you know, discussing the gospel how to you know shape your business based on a foundation of love and ultimately how to win at both being uh, a leader in the world and how to win in business as well uh, which you guys ultimately jesus was the ultimate leader of all time period so with all that being said that's the game plan for what's going on now uh moving forward i will talk about my testimony and where wh like why did i make this big change like where is this coming from right um, I have to share this with you guys. So on July 27, 2023, again, best day of my life. Um, God called me, gave me a vision, literally. I'm going to share that with you. And uh, it changed everything from that day moving forward. So here's what happened on July 27, 2023. And I'll actually back up just a little bit. I'm actually going to start, uh, you know, I'll start kind of in high school. Actually, you know, I'll take three minutes. I'll go super, super fast and I'll just start there. So when I was a kid, I was raised in a Christian household. Um, you know, we read the Bible, all that kind of stuff. We were going to church as a child. We ended up moving a lot as kids. Um, man, like if we were anywhere two, three years, like that was moving a lot. So my dad is from Wisconsin, my mom is from Oregon, and we went back and forth pretty much the whole time. I never felt like I really had a solid long-term friend group growing up, and that was difficult. Uh, fast forward to high school, um, you know, I ended up, you know, I had a relative who died. My cousin, actually, she was very young, but one of my favorite people on the planet, she died, passed away. I ended up getting, you know, pretty into drugs, um, weed, ecstasy, alcohol. Um, you know, honestly, I dropped out of high school. I think there's a lot of things to be said about that. Um, I think 
I didn't necessarily fit into high school. And I think that as an entrepreneur, uh, you guys probably didn't either. <laughs> to be totally honest, many of you did, maybe, but a ton of you guys didn't. I know that for a fact. As entrepreneurs, you know, we're not wired to go to school, period. Um, most of us. I'll just leave it at that. So anyhow, you know, I, uh, I ended up getting, you know, into drugs and I fell into a really bad crowd in high school. These were kids who were doing drugs, they were drinking, they were literally just, you know, doing just stupid kid stuff. Eventually what ended up happening is I always felt like I had a good relationship with God. Um, I at least knew who he was rather. And, you know, I prayed and I would occasionally, very occasionally read my Bible and things like that. But I was very much Christian, was totally just living in sin, and I was completely blocked out. And because of that sin, I had all sorts of um, spiritual influences that had a foothold in my life. And so, you know, the kids I was hanging out with actually ended up getting into the cult. Um, one kid was going to shoot up school one night, uh, so we could call the cops. That was a, not a very fun thing. Um, he was, thank God, um, you know, the cops showed up, seized all the guns the night before and uh that that was the whole thing but you know during this time these kids were heavily into the occult i witnessed them you know getting possessed i witnessed them um a lot of demonic activity honestly things would appear and reappear and disappear out of nowhere all the time um you know lights flickering typical pol poltergeist type activity i guess you could say you know, I've seen kids literally just get beat up out of nowhere. There's invisible forces literally throwing them up and down the stairs and stuff like really, really freaky stuff. But during this time, you know, I believed in Jesus, but I didn't know anything about spiritual warfare or how any of that kind of stuff worked. And so, you know, during that time, I would say, guys, you got to get out. This is super, super bad. Like, you know, this is really, really, really evil stuff that you guys are doing. You shouldn't be having any contact with any of these demonic forces or any of this kind of stuff. Um, and more or less, you know, they kind of listened, they kind of didn't, and it was what it was. Um, looking back, I would have said, dude, no way am I being a part of this. No way. <laughs> you guys, like, that stuff spills over into your life, especially if you're opening doorways through sin to allow these demonic forces to be in your life. And so, um, yeah, so long story short, with that one, you know, I grew up, I, I fell into a really bad, messed up demonic crowd. Um, and, uh, my parents eventually came to the point where they said, Hey, you got three options, right? Number one, you can either, uh, go to rehab. Number two, we're going to kick you to the streets. And number three, you can join the military. I chose the first one rehab. And that was a really, really big life-changing event for me. That was something called teen challenge. Amazing, amazing, amazing rehab center. You guys like all of addiction is you've heard this a million times all of addiction is 100 percent centered in pain which i was going through a lot of pain you know just moving around through you know moving around a lot as a kid that uh event with my my cousin who passed away uh very short um that hurt a lot and that's when things really ramped up for me but long story short so i went to teen challenge and that's actually supposed to be a year-long program i was there for literally guys like two and a half weeks um, and maybe not even that, maybe it was just like two weeks. Um, honestly, I wasn't there <laughs> very long at all, but the healing and the wonderfulness that I saw in that program absolutely completely changed the way that I saw worlds forever. You guys, Teen Challenge, it is a Christ-centered rehabilitation program. They get the most hardcore of the most hardcore people there. I saw pimps from Chicago, um, you, you live there. So I was actually roomed with a pimp from Chicago. This guy was like in his late, you know, 70s. Actually, I think he was even in his early 80s at that point, but he was repenting from all of the awful things, you know, the trafficking, beating, the drugs, the alcohol, all that kind of stuff. He literally turned that all over to Jesus and Jesus healed so much pain in that man's life. And that was just one, you know, there was like 40 or 50 dudes here um, that we all live together with. And uh, he was one example, you know, Guys, I saw marriages get restored. I saw, man, I saw, you know, tons and tons and tons of addiction being overcome. And really what I saw was the true loving power of Jesus, honestly, during that time. And so I came out of the rehab and, uh, you know, I, for the next couple months or so, six, 12 months, something like that, and actually probably three, six months, honestly, I'm just, I'm just gonna try to downplay everything. <laughs> I'd rather underestimate than overestimate, right? Um, 
but the healing that I saw from that was, was amazing. And uh, so I got out, and, you know, I was good, let's just say for three to six months, somewhere in that, that range where, you know, I wasn't really messing around too much. I wasn't partying, doing any of that kind of stuff. You guys can probably see where this was going, um, but I fell into, you know, the same kind of traps that I was in before, uh, smoking weed, drinking, all that kind of stuff. Um, I never did it nearly to the extent that I was before I went to rehab. And there was definitely some seeds, massive seeds that now, like <laughs> this YouTube channel, I can see like full picture how this is even becoming a thing through all of that. Um, but yeah, man, that 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 was, uh, you know, so so I get out of rehab and for, man, I'm going to say between the ages of about 19 through about 35 years old. I'm currently 35 right now. But 19 through 35, I was living this life where it was... Jesus was a part of my life, but he wasn't like the first part of my life, if that makes any sense. Um, and I don't know if it's necessarily something that you can just force or, or whatever. I know that you can absolutely say, hey, I'm going to cling to God and I'm going to get closer to him. And you can build that relationship. Um, but it it is a process and it's not something that, you know, it's just going to completely snap of the fingers, make perfect sense. And I think that all of us, you know, are, are on our own paths and we're on the time that God wants us to be, but I will say, knowing what I know now is that if I could have went back in time, I definitely would have stopped sitting the way that I was. Uh, and I just would have tried to speed up that relationship. You guys, sin brings every single thing that you're experiencing in your life right now, whatever frustration, whatever pain, whatever it is, you guys, it's absolutely a result of sin. And sin is just the, by definition, it's just the absence of God, because God is love. And I'm going to have tons of videos about why does God let good th you know, bad things happen to good people and tons of that kind of stuff. Because guys, this is business, right? Business is the most hardcore, like it will test every fiber of your being. Guys, it will. It is the most hardcore thing, the, the, the most hardcore arena of personal development that you're ever going to face. And you're going to need a higher power, honestly, if you want to come out um, in a better position. But long story short... So between the ages of about 19 to 35, let's just say, you know, earlier this year, um, I had a very worldly view of who God is, what God is, all this kind of stuff, right? So fast forward to July 27, 2023 of this year, an incredible thing happens. And I'm doing the dishes over in the kitchen and I get this voice and it just hits me really, really hard. And I know exactly who it was, it was God. And the voice hits me and it says, you need to play, you need, you need to pray on your knees right now. And I knew that was God. And I said, God, hey, I know that you're God. I am just a man. Anytime that you tell me to pray on my knees, I will absolutely do it. What I didn't realize at the time is I was actually submitting to God's will. <laughs> and now I can look back and see that. And it is so beautiful. It is such a wonderful thing. And so anyhow, I, I was led to pray. And so I go into the office, as you guys can see here. Um, and in this office back over here, you know, before this, I would pray maybe two, three times a year, literally. And I would be, you know, sometimes I would pray on my knees over on this futon back here facing the wall. Um, and it was always for like a minute or less. It was never a big thing. Long story short. Um, so I was led to pray. I was led to come into this office here and I was told to open the windows, which are is where all this light is coming from that you guys can see coming from this room. And we have like, you know, big windows, really pretty, all that kind of stuff. And so uh, I was told to open the windows and I was told, look out, everything that you see is in front of you. This is your new life. That's what I was told. <laughs> and I was like, wow, I fell to my knees. Literally, I fell to my knees and I was just, not just my knees. I was like, you know, <laughs> I was really, really in prayer, man. <laughs> I was really close to the ground, like as close as you can get, right? Um, and from there i was totally given just this wonderful amazing just out of this world vision and during this vision i was showed some amazing things you know i was showed that for the next 10 years um there's going to be two businesses one is based on marketing the other is based in uh you know we've got our golf cart rental company and that thing's taken off it's literally just exploding and i'm so so thankful for that but that's going to be the long-term play in the organic play the marketing business um that's a whole different thing and that one was not super 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 clear but that's just fine because what i'm realizing guys is that this youtube channel is a part of that vision and that's amazing too all right so 
anyhow, so I'm showing like, hey, you know, over the next 10 years, these businesses are going to thrive. It's going to be the best time of my life. Like everything's great, all that kind of stuff. And then here's the wild part, guys, is that this is what the vision looked like. It was like Jesus was standing there like this and he and he had his hands out and he was just like looking at me. Um, but you couldn't see his face. You just knew that it was Jesus and he was handing here, you know, he's standing there like this. And the visions that I saw, like, it was really kind of hard to describe, but visions that I saw, the businesses, you know, all that kind of stuff was, everything was happening behind Jesus. And during the, the visions of the businesses, like, you know, that was the, it was, the best way I can describe it is like, that was kind of like light and airy and like positive feeling and all that kind of stuff. The next thing though that happened is that I was shown that somewhere, there's not an exact timeline, whatever, but somewhere in 15 to 30 years, really awful things are gonna happen. Super, super bad stuff. Um, and then what was wild is like this black veil popped up um, or, or just like kind of showed up. And then I was shown all the atrocities of like mankind. I was shown mass illegal migration. I was shown like child trafficking. Um, I was shown, this is just so great. It's just so intense, but I was shown massive extreme preparations for war. I wasn't shown war and this could mean a couple different things because I, I'm actually going to cut another video on my interpretation of what this means. Um, you know, as I grow and, and go forward with it, it just becomes clearer and clearer every day. But basically I was shown that like, I saw like thousands, like 3,000, like thousands of tanks just like flying down the freeways, just hauling butt, just massive preparations for war. And all of this was done behind like a black veil. Um, so I could like barely see it. And I didn't know exactly what it meant. Um, I don't know exactly what that looks like, but I absolutely know that it means spiritual warfare. Like that's what was put in my heart. Absolute spiritual warfare and probably um, a lot of birthing pains of probably the, I'm, I gotta, I, I'll just say it, birthing pains of the end days, guys, doesn't take rocket scientists to figure out what's going on around here. Um, I think we're at the, the beginning of a, a new era of, of humanity and mankind, honestly. Um, Jesus is coming back for sure. I don't know when, but I know that every day that passes, it's one day closer. It could be 300 years. It could be 20 years. I don't know. It could be tomorrow. It could be a thousand years from now. I'm not going to worry about that stuff. Um, but you know, I was shown that 15 to 30 years, like lots and lots and lots of really, really tough things are happening. Bad things, tough things. And so when I was showed that part, it was, uh, I just heard this voice and it was so strong and said, God is calling strong Christian men to lead. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, whoa, that's intense. Um, but I was told that and I was shown that. And so ever since that day, you know, and, and here's the other thing. There was some other stuff that in there that was just amazing. Like I was shown that a Jesus is the one true, absolute God. There's no doubt whatsoever. One thousand percent. Jesus is the one true God. I was shown that like eternity is so much further and so much bigger than what we can ever comprehend guys while we're here. It's just eternity is like, you know, I was in Bible study a couple weeks ago and, and like a guy had an amazing, amazing example for this. And he was at the beach and he was with his grandkids and they were talking about, Hey, you know, what is, what's, what is heaven like? And you know, what is like, how long is eternity and all this stuff. And the way that he describes it, he's picks up this tiny, tiny, tiny little piece of sand. Cause he's at the beach with the grandkids, tiny little piece of sand. He picks it up and he says, you guys, this is your life. This one tiny piece of sand, this is your life. That's what he says. And he says, now look at all the sand that's all on this beach, everywhere. That's eternity. That's it. <laughs> and if you think about it, guys, like, you, okay, so that's one beach over here in Florida, whatever. That's one little beach in Florida. There are thousands and thousands of beaches all across the planet, right? That's eternity. Our time here is so short, guys. Our time here is so wonderfully, just extremely short, extremely short. And so when I came out of this vision, again, that was um, July 27, 2023. This YouTube channel was always on my heart to do at some point. 
But after this vision, I was like, boom, no, we got to get this thing going. And here's what's been amazing ever since, okay? And this is, this is the next part that's just incredible, is that that happened on July 27th, 2023. Today it is actually September 28th. So that was literally 61 days ago, okay? So literally like two months ago. Um, that was, so that was something that was completely life-changing. Absolutely, obviously. Um, but I came back, I was like, I got to start this YouTube channel. These business ideas that I've wanted to, you know, readjust and switch some things around. Like I have started doing all of these. So get this. So, you know, that was on July 27th, 2023. Shortly thereafter, um, I was called, and this was somewhere probably actually about five weeks ago, I was called to do a fast, a spiritual fast. Um, and I gave up all substances, you know, I no drinking. Um, oh, that was the other thing, guys. I'll just share this with you too. From that day forward, literally, like I used to drink too much. I'll just be honest. I was getting drunk about two to three times a week. That was just like common stuff, you know, cause it's fun being a young guy making money. Like, yeah, you're going to go out and party and stuff, but you should, not anymore. I have no desire to do that anymore. Um, but I fell into that trap and I ended up really, really, really unhappy and stressed out and hungover and all the things that come with it. Um, but literally no desire at all to drink at all. Like no desire to get drunk at all anymore. Um, this one, I've never had like a real problem with this, but this is totally part of my testimony. No, no porn at all. I've seen the tr I've seen the truth about porn, and it is a horribly demonic thing. Um, it, and it's so sad. It, it's just, it's a very, very, very demonic industry all around for for everybody. And um, yeah, I was delivered from those things instantaneously. Delivered from those things, and so. And so I was called to do a spirit fast and what I did is for 21 days, I didn't do any substances, no drinking. I was really careful about what, what I was putting in my body. Um, and that's the other thing. What you consume is what you become, what you see, what you hear, what you think. Like you guys, this is you, your life. Like you will be consumed and you will become a part of what you eat, what you drink, what you see, what you watch, what you hear, what you think what all these things guys like you become a part of that it's actually physically part of your 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 body mind and soul like uh, your body mind and spirit seriously guys like that becomes a part of you so you have to be really really careful about what you're doing how you're doing things and all this other stuff but um i was called to do the spirit fast i was really conscious of what i did for 21 days and i did two periods of 24 hour you know actual fast from there too on top of that on the 10th day and on the 21st day um, guys, I don't even know where this came from. This was just like the Holy Spirit was like telling me, just do this. So that's <laughs> that's some pretty amazing stuff. But I did this 21 day fast and, um, you know, I did a 24 hour food fast. And then, you know, you pray right before. And I'm, you know what, guys, I'll make you some videos on this. I think that'd be really, really cool and really powerful. But on that 21st day, um, I was called to pray, uh, finishing up the, the fast. And during this prayer, here's what I was told. I was told to take this YouTube channel and what you're going to do, it's like God speaking to me, you're going to take this YouTube channel and you're going to use that as a way to build a podcast. And that podcast is going to be called Christian Business Podcast. And I was hearing this and I was like, man, really in the spirit when I was praying and all this stuff. And I was thinking to myself, hey, I know absolutely that God is telling me to go ahead and register this podcast, get started with it, make it happen. Um, but I was thinking, you know, man, that's a super good name. I'm sure that name is taken and, uh, like I'll just figure out a name that, that works with it, you know, cause I know that I'm called to do this. Well, sure enough. Okay. I get all, I'm, I'm out of this prayer and I'm freaking hopping on Google and I'm like ready to go. <laughs> and, uh, sure enough, that name was available. Christian business podcast. You would think no way would that be available, but it was. And so you guys, this is all divinely inspired. That's what I'm doing. This channel right here, this is the tactical stuff. This is the stuff where, you know, day in, day out, I'm going to teach you all the trainings and, you know, all that kind of stuff of how to manage, run your businesses, how to, you know, just get some money coming in if you're doing a side hustle, whatever that looks like. Um, I'm going to teach you guys all of those things. Um, that's what this YouTube channel is for. That's the tactical stuff. The next portion of things is the podcast. And that's a whole different thing. You know, oftentimes, you know, 
podcast is different. People are going to work, people are working, you know, people are in the middle of things, they're taking bike rides, walks, whatever it's on, whatever it is, they're listening, right? With YouTube, you can see. So I can actually do these training videos, I can share a bunch of good information on YouTube, um, but they are gonna be, you know, separate. I'm just the guy that started the Christian Business Podcast and I have some really great tactical stuff for you. During the podcast, I will absolutely plug the channel. I'll say, hey, I've got some great channel, you know, great trainings on the YouTube channel. Check it out, Josiah Ryan, so on and so forth. This is the direction I'm going. And also, I'm super excited too. I love this stuff. Business is like my biggest passion in life. Jesus is like my biggest passion in life. Flip those two around. But um, hey, man, let's marry them up. I can't wait to show you guys some incredible, incredible things. And I'm so excited to be led in this direction on this journey with you and i love every single one of you guys so freaking much i just love you guys so much okay guys with that being said very first thing we're going to do on this channel is we're going to pray you know part of my vision and like part of this whole thing is i now see that god answers prayers and he actually answers them way before we even pray them but when we can come to him and we literally can ask him anything it's a game changer, guys. It's a total, total game changer. And so the first thing we're going to do, I, I know some of you guys don't believe, but I know some of you guys are really ready to make it happen. And if you're that person, hey, man, let's do it. So here's what you do, okay? Romans 10, 9 says that if you confess that Jesus is Lord with your lips and you believe in your heart, you will be saved. And here's what this looks like. So just pray with me. Lord Jesus, thank you so much for you being God and me just being a person. God, I know that I'm a sinner. I know that I fall so sh far short of your glory. I know that I'm never going to be perfect and holy in the way that you are. And Jesus, I ask that you come into my life. I ask that you come into my heart, come into my soul, come into my spirit. And Lord, I want to have a relationship with you. I know that you are God. I know that you are the Lord of lords. I know that you are the one true God in this life. And Jesus, I ask you to come into my life. I ask that you change my life. And I cannot wait to see what you have in store with me because I know that you love me. Amen. <laughs> That's it, guys. That's the whole thing. Um, I love you so much. Seriously, this channel is going to change your life. Thank you for being on this mission with me. Thank you for being a part. And uh, I'm just so thankful to be here with y'all. So I love you. Take care.